I'm doubling the amount of layers in this block of clay. Believe it or not, if you start with 20 layers and you repeat this process 20 times, you're gonna go from 20 layers of clay to over 20 million. I have got to know how thin those slices are. First of all, we need to know the total thickness that we're talking about. He said that he liked to start with 20 layers of about a half inch each. So if we work that out, we've got 20 layers times 0.5 inches each gives us 10 total inches of thickness that we're working with. Now to figure out the thickness of each one of those layers, we just have to take that 10 total inches and divide by the total number of layers. So I'm gonna set up a little table here with N, which is the number of the cut that we're interested in. And then over here, we'll just label this layers. So for example, when we haven't cut anything yet, we're already beginning at 20 layers. But then as soon as we make a single cut, we double the total number of layers, and so they go from 20 to 40. A second cut after that would go to 80, and another cut after that would go to 160, and I can start to tell what my equation is going to look like that is going to give us the nth cut in this particular case. Take for example what's going on after that first cut. We know that we started with 20 layers, and then it doubled to get Get us to 40. If we try and set up the next cut after that in a similar way, we could say it's 40 times 2, but that doesn't really help us write an equation in general. We want as little to change as possible. Instead, let's call it 20 times 2 squared, or 2 to the second power, because we've now made that cut twice. So we can tell our exponent is the number of cuts. This means after three cuts, we're looking at 20 times 2 to the third. 2 to the third is 8, and 20 times 8 is 160, so it appears that this is working. In general, we can say that the number of layers will be 20, that is the initial number of layers that we had, times 2 to the nth power, where n is the number of cuts. As an aside, this is one of the reasons why we want to let things raised to the 0 power be 1 and not 0, so that in that initial count, we are getting correctly 20 layers, not zero layers. That being said, for the 20th cut, to figure out the number of layers, we're gonna work out 20 times 2 to the 20th power, which a calculator would tell us is 20971520. Zero. In other words, just under 21 million layers. 10 inches over this number is obviously really, really small, and so it might be worth converting this into something like meters, or even better, a very small measure of meters. Centimeters, millimeters, nanometers. There are 25,400,000 nanometers to an inch, roughly, and as we multiply this out, we get something very close to 12 and a half nanometers per layer. For comparison, a strand of DNA is about two and a half nanometers thick, so we're talking about layers that are like five strands of DNA stacked on top of each other. 